All right, so Go High Level just released a new feature which allows you to add images to your forms. So in this quick video, I'm just gonna run through how you can use this feature and basically create something simple like this. And this is super useful because some people that aren't experts at you know building landing pages or things like that or funnels, um, it can get a little bit complicated. And with something simple like this, um, I'm actually interested myself in potentially testing something like this with my clients because it's a lot more simple, it loads fast, and it just kind of goes straight to the point. So um, here's how you do this. So inside of your high level, you're going to go to sites, and then you're going to click on forms. So once you click on forms, you'll just click on add form. And once you do that, it's gonna load up the new builder. So if you haven't seen my video, it's probably two or three videos ago, um, in the lab section, basically, they just released a ton of new UI updates. So this is the new form builder if you're not familiar with it. So I'm just gonna create a simple email opt-in form. So you know this is called form five right now. If I wanted to rename this, just do email opt-in or something like that and just save that. And then it's real simple. You just click on add form element, and then let's just do first name, and then we can just do email. Now, I always like to take off the border of the forms. I personally just think it looks better. So I would just come over here, go to styles for border. I would just put that to zero. And then I always like making um, you know, custom buttons because I think it goes better with the actual uh, you know image that you put above so I would just add a button like this you know do learn more something like that and then if I needed to create if I wanted to make the button rounded I would just go to probably 20 something like that 25 and then you can make this full width and then turn this you know blue or something like that and then you basically just there's the the base of the form and then now where this new feature is, is if you scroll down under styles, you're gonna be able to click on header image. And so once you click on that, it's gonna open up your computer. I already have this image saved. And basically I just you know use this template from Canva, so I didn't like make this, but um, the sizing here is 548 by 300. So if you wanna make one that fits pretty nicely with the form, that's the sizing I'd recommend. And then from there, it's not gonna show you a preview, I don't think in the new builder, um, up here at least, but when you save it, and then you click on preview, um, just like that, you have a nice little form. So just wanted to share that. Uh, I actually think this is really cool, and like I said, I'll probably be testing this because I think when you can simplify things and make things really easy to create, um, you don't have to worry about the sizing here, right, of the form, the page. You don't have to worry about all those other variables. So this is actually a really cool addition. I personally really like this a lot. And um, that's how you add in the headers or header image to your forms. So hope that helps. And if you are wanting to join, you know, Go High Level Communities, join our free group down below. It's probably towards the bottom of the links in the description. Um, but we're almost at 500 members and um, we're growing every day. We have two new people joining right now. So we would love to have you in here. It's totally free and uh, we'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye-bye.